Hey what's up you guys my name is Rahul and welcome to an another video of SketchUp Basic to Advanced Series and today I am going to teach you all about the line tool. In SketchUp line tool is used to draw lines and edges. So first learn how to use line tool. For the beginners, I recommend you to go to a perfect view like front, back, right, left or like that. If you are on an improper view, it's hard to create a face using line tool. You may end up like this. And there is no face. That is because these lines are oriented in three axes. So in order to make a face using line tool, you need to make sure that you draw all lines on the same play like this so next we need to study how to use line tool that is very simple guys just you need to first go to a proper view then you need to select line tool from the toolbar or you can press L on your keyboard that is the shortcut key of the line tool then you need to select right click on the canvas to assign a starting point so right click and right clicking here to I assigned a starting point right here then move cursor then assign a end point then I created a line that's pretty simple you can create multiple lines by clicking anywhere on the canvas in order to make a face you need to move the cursor and then again join with the start point of the first line but one thing you need to make sure that you need to draw all lines on the same line to get a face so that is how to use line tool so we are moving on to the next section that is modifier keys there is only one modifier function for the line tool that is lock the line in a particular inference direction so the first modifier key is shift what that do is lock the line in the current inference direction so here's an example I am drawing this line on the blue axis then I want the same height or same length as this point so what I need to do is I need to lock this line along this blue axis so press and hold shift then go down then move away the move the mouse cursor away from it then click on this point now I got this as length to this point so that is how the shift modifier key used and there is three more modifier keys left that is all our arrow keys up right and left arrow key so first go with the up arrow key what that do is as you can see right now the vertical or the up axis is the blue axis so if you want to lock a line along the blue axis what you need to do is just set a start point then go to wherever you want I'm just going with this blue axis I need to lock along blue axis so it is the vertical or up axis so I press up arrow on my keyboard just tap it then you will get locked to the vertical axis it's pretty simple moving on to the next modifier key that is the right arrow key what that do is it lock the line along the right axis or along the right axis so assign a start point then move away the mouse cursor then hit on the right arrow key on your keyboard then the line will lock into the right axis lock to the right axis so that's what the right arrow key do then the next modifier key is the left arrow key what that do is it locks the line along the green axis or along the left axis so again assign a start point move with the mouse cursor hit left arrow key on your keyboard then you got locked into the green axis so that is the modifier key of the line tool next we are going to learn about the advanced tool operation using line tool so the first advanced tool operation using line tool is creating a face I already talked about it but again I will teach you guys how to create a face using line tool it is pretty simple just create a closed figure on the same plane using line tool I repeat once again what you need to do is create a closed figure 
but you need to make sure that all the lines you draw need to be on the same plane. So here's an example. I am drawing all these lines on the same plane and I also close the figure by going to the start point of the first line that you draw. So that's right there. So I got a face and the next advanced tool option is splitting a face. That is very simple guys. By using line tool you can split a face into two. How to do that is pretty simple. Just draw a line through that plane. You need to make sure that the line you draw and the plane or the face are need to be on the same plane. So I am drawing a line through this. Now as you can see the face splitted into two. Now I can extrude this face and intrude this face that like that. So that is the use of the line tool in dividing a face into two or more multiple parts. So now we are moving on to the next advanced tool operation that is splitting a line into two equal segments or two equal parts. So that's very that is actually pretty simple. So this is a line. I need to divide this line into two equal parts. Now this line is one part. I can select the half of the line. So in order to break or divide a line into two, to do that just select the line then right click then select divide then you need to move the mouse cursor to the center of it then you can see two segments and three right points on the one on the start point one on the end point and one on the middle then just click on the right point or click on the center of the line then check it the line breaks into two equal parts that's how you divide a line into two equal parts once again I will repeat this. So first draw a line, then select the line, right click, divide, then move the mouse cursor to the center, then click. Two lines, two equal lines guys. It's pretty simple to do, just two equal lines. So moving on to the next advanced tool operation using line tool, that is how to divide a line into segments or divide a line into parts. So let's do this. First select the line then right click sorry then right click and then select divide then you can select how much segments you want. You can go to left or right to increase segments. So I now want 20 segments. So you can also do a different trick that is you can just type how much of segments you want just type I want 15 as you can see down there the, on the segment measurement tab the value changed to 15 then hit enter and you have divided the line into 15 equal parts so that's how you divide a line into multiple parts again I'll repeat there is two ways I now got a one line I want to divide this part into 10 equal parts. So what I need to do is select the line, right click, divide. Then you can increase the number of segments by moving your mouse cursor along right or left, left direction. So if that is too hard to get the exact value or exact equal segments, what you need to do is just type the number of segments you want, then hit enter. And you have divided the lines into equal parts. That's pretty simple guys. So that is the main advanced tool operation of the line tool. There is lots lots of advanced tool operation and let's move on to that. Advanced advanced tool operation of line tool. I really don't want to include this advanced tool operation on this video because it is related to measurements and there is a lot to explain about it. So but anyway let's learn a little bit about it. So that is how to create precise lines. I mean precise that is how to you mean like how to draw a line of length 10 meter in SketchUp using line tool that's what I'm going to teach you right now so select the line tool from the toolbar then assign a start point from where you need to start then just enter 
the value. Just type the value on your keyboard. I want 100, so 100, then hit enter. So as you can see down there on the measurement tab, it changed to length and the value is now assigned as 100. That means I want this line length to be 100. So after entering 100 on your keyboard, just type the value, then hit enter. As you can see, I got a line of line 100. So that's all guys, hope it helps. I don't talk all about the line tool because there is a lot more to talk about the measurement section. That is, I don't talk about it, that's because there is, that is hard to understand guys. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, then please give a big thumbs up, comment, share. That will help me a lot guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.